Is it okay if I record some of the uh, massage? Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we, we watch those compression um, bandage videos all the time. to, to mm -hmm. they, re they really help. So. Okay, cool. Um, no, sure. My mom gets confused a little bit what to massage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now she does it as different. Um, that's why I said take off the sweatshirt would probably be a good idea. Okay, not a good idea. I'm full of bad ideas today. Uh, no, it's just not your day today. And only talk to you in generalities about things. Okay, would um, would this stuff cause scars without actually just naturally? No. Um, peeps. People are susceptible to getting cellulitis infections. Uh, yeah. And sometimes you can get open wounds with that, yes. and then you can get scarring with that. Yeah. So like, I've never really understood cellulitis yeah. very much. Um, so you get an infection that actually breaks open the skin? Mm -hmm. Cellulitis is an infection of the skin, and the skin will just get very red, very warm, very swollen. It will start weeping on its own. You can get open sores. It's, it's not a nice thing to get. And how does my insurance work with you, Julie? I, I'm a little confused. It's like, um, like you you were saying, once I get these these strappings and mm -hmm. stuff like that, um, you said then I can say goodbye to you or something. Like mm -hmm. that. Um, um, uh, is that normally it, or do you go for perpetual? We usually see therapy? people for maybe six to eight weeks, put them in garments when we feel they're ready for garments, and send them home on a, a management program. But if you develop more problems, you can always come back. Okay. But the insurance doesn't pay just for consistent therapy. No. They won't pay. No, they, they're buying, well, they're not buying, but you're buying garments, you've got the pump, you know, you've got resources, they know how to wrap at home. Okay. We set you up with resources to take care of it. Because if, see the leg itself needs therapy because the muscles are Well then atrophied. you need to come back for strengthening. That's different. That's different. And a doctor mm -hmm. has to give another mm -hmm. referral. Mm -hmm. Okay. So crazy, crazy stuff. And this is only because of the six sigma HMO. Clearly. I don't know. Like if you, if you were, um, if you had Social Security or Medicare, you still got to jump through all of these referrals. Medicare, Medicare only pays for about 20 visits a year. You have a pot of money, and we can use that pot of money, and once it's used up, then you're done. Okay. We have to follow a lot of very stringent rules with, you know, insurance. It's interesting that they don't tell you many things until you actually get in the process. Nobody knows until... <coughs> Excuse me, they have to use it. The 20 visits. That's about what, well you get, you get a little over $2,000 with Medicare and it, it, it chunks out to about 20 visits. E even if the leg absolutely needs therapy? Then you have KX modifier you can go into and that's an extra $1,300. But we have to document very strict every five visits we have to document and show progress or they won't pay yeah that makes sense mm -hmm. I've seen that again. Mm -hmm. so i'm telling you there's a lot of rules that we have to follow gotcha. we have two women who sit up front and all they do is insurance verifications because it's that big a deal <clears throat> Yeah, my dad couldn't stay in the home unless uh, when he had to go in for something serious, <laughs> unless he showed progress. Okay. You get 100 crazy. days uh, with Medicare in a nursing home. 
after a hospitalization. Whole new adventure coming mm -hmm. our way, Jeff. You see how this massage is going? Now, I, are you still working on the going down before you're going up? I'm, I'm walking my way down, but I'm pushing it up as I go. Oh. I always make it go upward, but I'm working my way down. That sounds so strange to my ears. Remember, we keep telling you, you gotta clear the um, the road before you move the traffic up. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the. That's an excellent analogy. For the traffic analogy. <laughs> Did so, I use that before? Uh, I don't. I don't know. But it's true. <laughs> <laughs> but perhaps I've I've heard it. Uh, I would say you have to flush out all of the garbage before you can move, move up more water. You know. But, uh, but that's what when when we learn how to do it, it's called moving cars. So so you bring down and then you bring back up. See, mm -hmm. this is something we don't do at night. We just start moving it up. No, you got it. You got to open. I, I try to remind you, you gotta start up mm -hmm. here first, and then move, move down. Mm -hmm. And this video will will remind you. <laughs> and I can't reach that foot. And do the toes need massaging? Toes don't look too bad. Mm. Can you bend your knee? Not very much. Right there is perfect. <sighs> That, see, the knee is becoming useless because uh, when I was in therapy right after the operation, I was doing uh -huh. great with my knee. But then they weren't sure the bone was healing, and I started uh -huh. getting a lot of advice to rest the leg, uh -huh. and the knee, the knee froze up. And well, now it's the I don't, old adage if you don't, don't use it, you lose it. But I don't know how to get it back without using because this is where the pain will be in the uh -huh. bone where it broke. And I don't know who to listen to, and doctors only give you 40% of what, what... Well, what does... Who did you like, Ping, Pinsinger? Pinsinger, yeah. What does he say when you see him? Not much. I mean, all these doctors upset me. He says, let pain be your guide. You know, if that's the case, I'll stay in bed 24-7. Um, the... Well, at first they said his bone was completely healed. Yeah. And and that what just wasn't true. Mm -hmm. um, they were wrong because I could see there was a crack there, and I finally forced it because they kept sending me to his nurse practitioner, which I think that's all a bunch of bull crap. And I finally said I want to see the doctor. Mm -hmm. And so she said, well, "I'm just as good as the doctor." It's literally what she <laughs> said. And I said, "I want to see the doctor." And he okay. came in and he looked. He says, "Hmm, I don't think that bone is healed." You know, mm -hmm. and it's like. What happened to your clone? I thought she's just as good as you, you know. And it's like, um, uh, then he then he started with the bone stimulator and the bad news. Well, if it doesn't heal, we have to go in and scrape the bone and blah blah blah. Replace the steel. Start giving all this, you know. It's like your nurse practitioner was just gonna send me home with a lollipop, you know. People have lost a lot of faith in, in the medical community. First of all, they're beginning to realize they're not as smart as they pretend to be. And I think they know that. That's why they don't talk that much. They try not to tell you anything if they can help it. The this Saturday. Oh wow. Yeah, now then my real problems start. Ah, because without him, I'm really in. How long have you been here? Um, this will be a month now. So you took some FMLA. So we had baskets for him, but everybody else is too big for baskets. But uh, I had 24 people at my house, so that was a lot of people. Well, that's really a big celebration. 
through pain. <laughs> Why do you celebrate so heavy? Just well, curious. Because we have my husband's family and my family, so we only do one. I hate these pants. I'm thinking about just cutting them. Oh, really tight. I know, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get them down here in a minute. Okay. Oh, no, ma'am. Okay, so great. first thing I do, I like to wash them up good. Oh, that one's nice and warm. They also said somewhere online, or it was my daughter told me, she read something on uh, that I'm not supposed to take, uh, like, hot showers. Or... No, heat is not good for lymphedema. Um... How hot should the shower be? <laughs> Maybe just... Uh, I'm not a big fan of cold showers. Well, it doesn't have to be cold, <laughs> but you don't want... You know how you... I'm a person who can come out looking like a lobster. Yeah. You don't want to do that. No, no, no. I... Maybe just room temperature. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just a nice, warm, but not hot, hot, you know? Okay. Okay, so... I was hoping you told me that was a fantasy, but that's not a fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's one thing that's true. He, yeah, and and um, we tell you not to be in the sun too much, or you know. Really? Because mm -hmm. something I read said be in the sun. For lymphedema? Yeah. No. That must be one of those bad internet sites. <laughs> it's it says it's it's good for I guess. So uh, well, something it, it's complicated. So uh, so his his leg shouldn't be in the sun, or he shouldn't be in the sun, even if he wears. Uh, like pants. Um, I wouldn't be sitting out in the sun, sun, because the heat, it will make you swell. Okay. Heat, and heat you don't want to get, yeah, and you don't want to get a sunburn either, because that would be bad for the skin, because no the, the lymph is right underneath, you know. Yeah, I know, it's very close. Don't tell me you're a sun worshiper. Oh, no, not at all. But uh, I, I do like do fun things like swim in the pool with my grandson. Well, you could get in the actually, you could get in the pool for a while. The pool is actually a very good for your legs oh, really? because you have the buoyancy of the water pushing against them, plus moving your legs with the muscle pump. It will help move the fluid. Okay, so we wash them, we moisturize them, and we put some white stockinetta. Yeah, are you seeing this? My, it's my wife. She said, "My my wife was a nurse. Mm -hmm. um, I, I I used to do um, I did missionary work overseas in Indonesia. We, you know, mm -hmm. built, built churches and things." Mm -hmm. and okay, so now I'm going to take this white foam, and I'm going to start at your ankle. White foam. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I'm going to bring it up your leg, overlapping by about a half. Is okay. that reusable? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Foam is your friend. Foam moves fluid. Foam moves fluid, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm going to start with this small one. And we're going to start right here on your foot. If you need to tape this down when you do it, that's fine. I don't, but so I go once. I go twice. I go three times around his foot. Then I start up. I come down and around one figure eight, two figure eight, and then I just come around overlapping. And I threw all the clips away. We never clip because clips can puncture and we do not want any holes in that That's leg. That's true. And how much pressure did you put on? Not a lot, I can tell you that. Yeah. Okay. And I'll explain pressure to you this next time. Because this is where the pressure is even more important. I start at his ankle, and I come around. It's kind of loose on one. Every loose. time I come around, I pull. Yeah. I just take up the slack. I hear that shh. Oh, she's very good at this. And there it is. So it's, it's not a super tight pull. It's just taking up the slack because you want it snug, not tight. And then the next one, I'm going to start just above, and I'm going to do the same thing. 
It's it's like a soft cast, but that's what you need. And this is every, an everyday thing, or is it several times a day? I'll get into that in a minute. You saw how I did that, okay? Okay, and then I'm going to put a piece of Comperm on the top. So it doesn't fall off. Now, would you use this while you're moving around or just when you're sitting down? Okay, in there. Oh. And see, it's just like a cast. Okay, we're good. It okay. does feel like a cast. Mm -hmm. uh, Question the last one, going up by halves. Start down here. Will this spread to my arms? That's one something I've. I mean, if it's spreading to the other leg, where does it stop? Hopefully, it will not go above your waist. I don't know. I use Eucerin lotion. Eucerin is closest to body pH. I don't know what you've got at home. I don't know what your wife has. Um, do you have any lotion? Yeah, she has Neutri Neutrogena. Neutrogena. Neutrogena is not too bad. Some, something or other. <laughs> That's not a bad one. It's moisturizer or something. Like that. Would that work? That should work. Neutrogena is pretty good. And how long uh, should he um, ch change? Once every day? Um, she said to shower. When, okay, once every day. You could go every other day if you wanted to, depending on how you're feeling. Really? Uh-huh. Okay. okay? So if you just don't, don't take them off one every other day. Yeah. Feel good? Yeah, this one, this one feels a little tighter. Some reason. I might have got it a little snug. Sometimes when I'm talking, uh, you need to carry away. I, I pull a little bit snugger. It seems a little tight around Up the knee? I can fix right, that. Right back of the knee. Okay, hang on. I can fix that. I can fix that. It's my only leg that feels a little good. Yeah. Okay. Does that feel good? Is that better? Yeah, I think it is a little better. Yeah. And I'll watch. This is a little harder. This is why you want them re-rolled when you do it because you got much more control. Better? Uh, yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay. And if you notice, when I did it, I always rolled them out like this because I have much better control. Okay. Better? Yeah. <coughs> oh, bless you. It was me. than it was, but... So who did you do missionary work for? Um, it was an independent, small Christian church. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it was sent out by my own church, so um, it was uh, just, like I said, independent Christian. Mm -hmm. I didn't, you know, we, overseas, when we were, we were working in a, you know, uh -huh. a difficult environment, you don't, you don't, you don't do any of that, that denomination mm -hmm. ridiculous stuff. You're just happy that you're the same people, uh -huh. <laughs> you know. And, oh no, uh, I, I, I understand. Yeah, you just, yeah, and uh, so I, I, I don't. Yeah, I'm not a big denomination person. There, how's that feel? Uh, um, it feels good. Oh, this one. Oh, see this one in the hips. I can barely move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I think what you're thinking is that I, I, I'm actually not going to stay here that long. Okay, it's going to be my mom. I'm your mom. Your mom. My mom. <laughs> yeah, not my mom. My mom's not around anymore. Uh, 
And I, I'm really surprised because I mentioned so much to the doc about about having all this pain around the groin. He never once said it could be lymph nodes. Never once said that. Because I don't think they know that much. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'd say it, but we're not going there. <laughs> <clears throat> Was it you, Josh, who said they don't, they're not trained that much in America? In, in America, they're not taught that much about the limb system. And least. it also depends on how well, on the age of your doctor. The older he is, the less he knows. Oh, mine is really old. Mine's, uh, he's been in business for like 38 years. Okay, so he probably doesn't years. know that much about it. But the younger ones are at least getting more of it in school. That's right. I, I had one friend that was, I mean, but new things keep developing. If your idea of a good time is to read medical journals when mm -hmm. you go home at night, <laughs> he's pretty honest. Mm -hmm. So you're right, the younger ones know the most. That, that has been not our guess. So we're, we're trying to find an oncologist. We want to change oncologists. We're trying to find one who's a little bit younger. Um, has their, their hand on everything because the one we have now, nice enough person, but uh -huh. he's, he's like me, he's like six clean. And uh -huh. It's like, this is ridiculous. Why did this happen? Okay, now I am going to teach you breathing at home. Okay, hand on your tummy, breathe in through your nose, blow up the balloon. Exhale through your mouth, knock the air out. Put your hand there now and you do it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feel how I give just that little bit of pressure both ways? Just to make it stretch and then to empty it out. That is one of the most important things you can do at home because it stimulates the thoracic duct. Okay? Elephants on parade, you know, mm -hmm. they're, they're doing all stuff. And he'd watch it and I'd see his eyes getting okay. tired and finally he could close his eyes and sleep, mm -hmm. you know. And I really think Disney saved his life because without that he couldn't sleep and he couldn't breathe, you know. And uh, so. Oh, so you had all, your whole family overseas when you were doing. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and it was scary, let me tell you. Uh -huh. How long did you, were you overseas doing missionary work? Unfortunately, I was only there six years um, because things got really rough over there. Uh -huh. And it was, um, it was harder to be an American working with a Christian church in a Muslim country. Uh -huh. um, it got really kind of nasty. and. Um, I was doing more damage to the church by being there than I was by leaving. I mean, yeah, uh -huh. that's right. That's the right thing. Um, like they stopped me on the street and the immigration asked me. They said, uh -huh. we know what you're doing here and blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. And uh, so we prayed about it and, and God literally told us to leave. It was time to leave. And um, Well, Malaysia's very Muslim, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's even scarier. Malaysia uh -huh. is scary. But they... they they burnt and destroyed 600 churches in Indonesia. Mm. It didn't didn't make the news over here. It wasn't as uh -huh. important as Madonna or something, you know. Um, but just now in Sri Lanka, you know, mm -hmm. they found out all that stuff with the churches that that was that was Muslim again. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, 600 people injured will be sent there in the holidays. You know, mm -hmm. fruit baskets and uh, stuff like that. And they send it to the churches, and it would explode. You know, Ooh. and people people would die. You know, so mm -hmm. I had to get out of there. So I, I couldn't. Okay. Oh, all day long. All I thought was just one of a number of things you did. No, this is my primary. Oh, okay, that's great. Thing I do now. Okay, so I have a specialist. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not sure my doctors can spell lymphatic system. <laughs>
do it to the knee, but when you do the thigh, you really need to have them standing, okay? This ma'am, I can see why that would make sense. Oops, sorry. This is my key change. <laughs> Very annoying. I think it's kind of cool. Is that bullseye? It's some kind of horse. Bullseye's the one from... Um, Toy Story. <laughs> Toy Story, that's why. Because you're a Disney guy, I thought I said. Okay. Yeah, you don't this, know that. Okay, no. mark against you, buddy. This is going to go behind his knee with the bevel side out because then it flattens out when you... The bevel side? Yeah, she beveled it. I beveled it. With the side. Oh, I see it, I see uh -huh. it, I see it. Bevel side out. Mm-hmm. Now, what we're going to do... Oh, wow, look at this. Can you... This is going to sound really nice. Can you sit on the toilet with all this? It's like a suit of armor. Mm -hmm. Okay, I do one around just to anchor it. Then I have to come up. Yes, ma'am. Let me try to give you more room there. And I need to come down so I have an X on the front of his knee, okay? okay. Because that's going to allow his knee to bend. To bend. Okay? Okay. Okay, bend. X in the front. Uh huh. And then I will do the same thing with the brown. Now you know why. Um, that's fine. Um, it's not as okay. tight as I thought it. Well, I, it's got to be snug, not tight, tight. Snug, not tight, dude. It feels good to me. Okay. It feels the right. Here, let me, let me see. And I'm not going to put oh, the yeah. other one on. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah. And that was uh, just two layers? Yeah, that okay. was two, two of these. I was going to.